10,000 subscribers, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much because I appreciate you all so much. I'm gonna be giving away something special next episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But today we have a recipe to make. We're in the midst of doing all of these Mexican inspired dishes. My kind of idea was to lead up to Cinco de Mayo and I sort of just forgot about Easter, but for good reason, I'm off on Easter. I don't usually cook. That's my holiday to go out. So to carry on that Mexican flavor, we're making huevos rancheros. You need a Mexican breakfast and this is my my favorite. Crispy corn tortillas, some beans, fried egg, some delicious salsas. What more could you ask for? I'm gonna add chorizo to ours, which is not necessary, but I like a meat in my breakfast and chorizo is one of my favorite Mexican meats. And then we're just gonna make a green sauce, which is a little different variation of the salsa verde that I made a few episodes ago. So I'm gonna model this after a huevos rancheros dish I had in Miami a few years ago that I really love. Sort of had a, a light creamy green green salsa, some fried eggs, some cotilla cheese. Don't remember if there was any meat. They'd use some cherry tomatoes instead of like a pico. I'm gonna throw my pickled red onions in there and we're just gonna make it super, super delicious. So let's just get right into it. A few things I wanna do quickly. For the salsa, I just need to roast some jalapenos. So I'm just gonna do that in the oven. I'm gonna throw a little bit of onion, some garlic and just get those things roasting. I'm gonna make sort of just like a rough pico de gallo. I like my huevos rancheros on the fresher side, so I don't like a cooked sauce necessarily. I just want it really light and fresh, so I just have some jalapeno, which I'm not gonna dice, I'm just gonna cut into super thin rounds. I'm gonna have cherry tomatoes instead of like a whole tomatoes, because these just taste a little better when tomatoes aren't ripe. And then I got my pickled red onions. So let me just cut these guys up real quick. So we just add a little bit of the cilantro and then grate in some garlic. A little bit of lime zest. And then the lime juice. So this is just pico de gallo, all the elements we would normally make, but just sort of rethought a little bit. So it's a little bit brighter and fresher and I think it's gonna taste delicious, which it does. So that's good, that's done. So now I wanna make the green sauce. Take the garlic out of their papers, take the tops off the jalapenos, and then the onion. Avocado, some limes, cilantro, salt. Blend this bit, blend this up. It's a little too chunky like that. I just put a little bit of water in. Added some water, so I need to re-season it a little bit. Need a little cilantro. So a little trick, if you want to add a little bit more flavor, throw in a cube of this calco de pollo. And then just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Mmm, that's perfect now. So I'm going to make a quick version of refried beans. So that's just gonna need me to chop up some garlic and a little bit of onion. I'm gonna fly through that real quick and we'll crack some eggs, open up some chorizo and then head on over to the stove. I only need about a quarter of a cup. Pint of black beans here, just a can. I'm gonna throw my onions in here. Also gonna throw my garlic in there. I'm just gonna cook the onions, the garlic, the beans. Oh, God. I cook it all in a little bit of butter in a pan. And once it gets cooked a little bit, I'm just gonna start mashing it. Ugh. I'm just gonna start mashing it with a masher. Um, I'm just gonna start mashing it into a masher until I get it to a nice consistency that I like. Adding a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of water if you need. Season it with a little pepper and it's gonna be easy. 
I'll show you how to do that in a minute. I need some cotija cheese. It's like uh, Mexican Parmesan. You just break it up with your hands and it crumbles right up. That's done. Got my eggs. So this is chorizo. Pork sausage is just spiced with a lot of different spices that give it this nice red. And it's just one of the most delicious sausages in my opinion. Reminiscent of like a hot Italian sausage, but with obviously like a little bit of a Mexican feel to it. You just kind of score the, the wrapping and then just pull out all the meat. We got that done. And we got corn tortillas. So we're just gonna fry these in oil, cook off the sausage make the beans and fry the eggs. It's a few things on the stove, but we've got everything ready to go. All we gotta do is bang it out. It shouldn't take much time at all. So let's just get right into it. So I've got my, my refried beans. I just want to add a little bit of lime juice because I didn't want to add it in the cast iron pan. Delicious. It needs a little salt. It's creamy, it's crunchy, it has flavor. Perfect base for our ranchero. I'd pay $30 for this, but I don't have to. So you see what's happening, you get this like tostada action happening where the beans hold the meat together, the meat holds the egg together, the toppings season everything up nice and give it flavor. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, I knew I forgot something. That's what the top was supposed to be like. I knew I missed something. It's just my favorite breakfast. It's a dish that has texture, flavor, acidity, spice, creaminess. It's such a great dish. So if you like this kind of thing, you're gonna have to try this one out. I just need to finish this, so please excuse me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you all for being here. 10,000 of you. That number sounds crazy to say. I'm super grateful. It's a humbling thing to realize and it makes me just want to be better and better. It gives me more responsibility to improve what I do learn more and just kind of improve this journey for me and for all of you every day I go out and do this. So thank you all so much. As a token of my appreciation, I'm giving away a, a special package to one of you through a giveaway on Thursday. So you don't want to miss that. Tune in. So that's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself and go feed yourself.